And he goes for the fog with no hazards. And okay, and then goes for the fog with no hazards. <laughs> Everyone and welcome back. So I would like to begin with saying two things. The first thing is I'm sorry that this episode is airing right now instead of yesterday, but I was really busy, so you know, life happens. And number two, oh my god, what happened last four days? I got like one and a half thousand subscribers all of a sudden, which is super great, but alright. And one more thing, I think I fixed the Discord link. So check the description if it and if it still doesn't work then I don't know. But anyway, today Tate and Liza and again because I am very busy, I had to ask my friends from Discord to record some good replays for me. And uh, there's two things. First of all, we had to choose this team, which is fourth rematch from Emerald. And as you can see, this team is basically new meta as it goes. Like, oh my god, these sets are pretty nice. Surprisingly though, there's a lot of weird shit happening, so let's just dive straight into it. So here we have Claydol versus Shaman, and for some reason the Shaman doesn't go for Seed Flare, but goes for an Air Slash which doesn't flinch, then Dazzling Gleam which doesn't have to flinch, and then boom, kaboom, goodbye Shaman, and there's the forfeit. So. Moral of the story, explode on a shaman and then someone rage quits. In this replay we have Solrock versus Kamoo, and the Kamoo goes for its signature move, Clangorous Soul Blaze, blah blah blah. Gets all the boosts, which is really OP if you're asking me, but what do I know? Okay, and then takes a lot from a Psychic and goes for Ice Punch, with the, which doesn't do much and like, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye dude, and then Ferrothorn, oh whoops, you get catch that fire, oh you cannot, there you go, Stealth Rock, and that's the forfeit, so Sol Rock destroyed this guy's morale so much that he just forfeited, whoops, so two forfeits already, let's check this one out, Claydol, that's the best start, Paramosa goes for Bug Buzz, does a lot of damage, and then kaboom, Boom, Paramosa, and there's the forfeit. I mean, exploding clay doll makes people forfeit for some reason, I don't know. Here, Gardevoir and Soul Rock. So the Gardevoir Mega Evolves goes for Dazzling Gleam for some reason. I don't know why not Hyper Voice or something else, but okay, Sunny Day and Hyper Beam now, which is boosted by Pixelate, so you know, that kind of hurts. Zato with Calm Mind. And catches a Hyper Beam to the face, but lives that. And the confusion happens. And then we have the Chesto Resto Emerald, you know, thing. Yeah. Restore that health, get that sleep gone. Okay, and then Hyper Beam happens again. More Calm Mind, right? Must recharge. Take that Psychic, does a lot of a crit. And then, uh, oops, you hit yourself in confusion because why not? And yeah. And there's the forfeit. We have the same guy on the opposite side, so the team is gonna be exactly the same. So let's see. Here is the boy Clade, all the exploding destruction one. Gardevoir goes for Hyper Beam, which doesn't kill, and then Light Screen must recharge, and obviously goes kaboom. Goodbye, Gardevoir. And that's a forfeit. Now, this guy, I think he was on a challenge of some sort, because, I mean, you'll see. Let's just see what happens, okay, so he goes for flamethrower, okay? Flamethrower, remember that, flamethrower, he goes to sleep, then gets his dreams eaten, not bad, cool, cool. He wakes up, so, okay, fire fang, alright, flamethrower, fire fang, that's kinda decent, and then fire blast, so already free fire moves on the Charizard, and that kinda makes me feel like this guy's... This guy, I mean, was on a mission to do full stab with only one type or something, I don't know, but, you know, Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Fire Fang, maybe Blast Burn is the last one, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So takes the Psychic to the face again, and then goes for Hidden Power, which is resisted, which still kind of makes me feel like it's fire. So, I don't know, okay. Here we have Lucario, which goes for Hidden Power, which is not resisted, so it could be fighting, 
Then goes for a high jump kick. And we miss the hypnosis. And then we go for protect because we hit that. So the high jump kick, yeah, 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 good. Right, half the health. Then we protect again and it goes for hidden power. Nice, not bad. And then cross up. See, so again, two fighting type moves. And the hidden power I would expect was also like a fighting type. Okay, so take a lot of damage from the high jump kick coil. Cross chop. Okay, see you later, Lucario. Lula. See you later, Lula. Okay. And now power up punch from a Machamp. So, okay, if you're doing a uh, single type team or, or single type move team, then you probably don't want two fighting types, right? So, cross chop, hidden power resisted. So, that still makes me think it's fighting type. And hidden power Machamp, come on. Now, the Mewtwo goes for Psy Shock. Gets yawned. And then we protect to uh, inflict the sleep and side strike. So side shock, side strike, and now I'm pretty sure that's what the guy is going for, right? So we get that, you know, calm mind up, psychic the guy. Not bad. He's still asleep. Takes a lot of damage actually, and then wakes up and goes for side shock again. All right. Psychic again, that boy. Okay, he's at 10%. He's gonna switch into Dinosaur. And the Dinosaur is just gonna die to a crit. Nice! I love seeing Pedon go down. And then come back. The Mewtwo comes back. I mean, Psy Shock. Goodbye, Mewtwo. So Slowking actually did a lot of good job. And now this is Kyogre, right? Let's see what happens. Hidden Power resisted. What would that imply? Okay, Clay Doll. Takes a shit ton of the hit from the hidden power, I mean. So rain boosted, right? And hydro pump, I mean now it's confirmed. This guy was just going for a new meta single, you know, stab move type, whatever. Keeps going for hidden power, water, and takes the damage. And liquidation, sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about right now then. <laughs> Calm mind Zatu is faster than a Kyogre. Yeah, 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 hidden power, yeah, 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 obviously. Oh, Hydro Palm to the face, kind of hurts, but we have the chest of resto. Resto, chest of chest of resto, not bad. Wake up, cool, Hydro Palm to the face, and then we go for Psychic and kill it. All right, that was the longest fight. I have two more, so let's just jump straight into them. This guy, if I remember, yeah, okay. I, I don't even know what to say, okay, so Aegislash. Goes for a totemizer, right? That that's a good play. That's a good play. With Shadow Claw, he probably sweeps. But then he goes for that twice, which like lets us go for the flamethrower. And then he seeing the damage, he decided he needs even more and he just goes down. I don't know, okay. Blaze again goes for a facade. New meta, fucking not even poison or anything, then brick break and that's a dead blaze again. Yeah, okay, cool. Now, here is the Deoxys, which goes for Detect, first turn, uh, which allows us to go for the Sun. And then, I don't know what he did, but he was slower than a Soul Rock, so I guess like Revenge or something like that. Okay, and now, here you think the Giratina is going for Calm Minds, right? That's, that's a good play. Oh, look at that, the plus two attack and then Hex. Oh my god, we're dead. We are dead, and then out comes the Clay Doll, and he goes for the fuck with no hazards. And okay, and then goes for the fog with no hazards. What's going on in here? The fog with no hazards. I mean, the fog with no hazards. For the fourth time? And then Aqua Tail, you get plus two special attack and you go for Aqua Tail. The fog with no hazards. And Calm Mine, so I guess. And an Aqua Tail to actually not kill. So that Giratina, I don't know. It, 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 I don't know if this was rigged. It doesn't seem so. But like, hey, and then the Genesect goes for an explosion on a Pokemon with five percent. This might have been rigged, but uh, even though, even if it was, then I mean, who in the right mind would agree to this? It would just hurt me to see this happen. I have a boosted up Giratina that just clicks a move and wins, and you just go for, you know... Okay, and the Kangaskhan just kills himself with confusion. 
I mean, this is this is something else. And then for the last one, I this is a pretty long battle because there's a lot of stalling. So I'm just gonna show something very nice, and then I'm gonna end the episode. So here we go. Alakazam is tightening its focus. Boom. Goodbye.